Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I've got an exciting new preview for you guys today. Today we're going to be looking at the TACOM 135th scale T29 heavy tank. And this is a beast inside here, a monster, monster tank. Now, this is a new kit, but it is based on a kit that came out a few years ago from TACOM where they've updated some of the parts. So the old kit's not available anymore, so the only way to get the T29 from them is this new one that will be out very, very soon. It's uh, probably about, I'd say probably say about, about another month out before they're actually start arriving in the United States. And it's, it is a beast, so uh, we've got a lot to look at inside here. So, let's get started. And here it is. Here is the TACOM 35th scale T29 heavy tank. And a little little background history on the uh, the T29. The T29 was first put into development in March of 44, and the U.S. Army thought they needed a really massive tank with a big, big gun to go up against the new King Tigers that they were starting to encounter on the battlefield. And this is what they came up with. So it is basically, they started off with the chassis of the M26, or the T26, the, the Pershing. Uh, used that as a base, stretched it out, made it a little bit uh, bigger in areas. Also put on a 105 millimeter gun, so a, uh, a powerful, powerful gun on it. Had a 1649 cubic inch V12 Ford engine. And I, I find this really funny too. The, the vehicle says it has a 300 gallon capacity and went a range of 100 miles. So you do the math on that, you get a whopping three gallons to the mile on this particular tank because it weighed 64 tons. Had a crew of six inside based on everything I could read on it. Um, they also started to come out with a another version of this, the T30, which from what I've read is identical in every way to the T29 except it had a 155 millimeter gun. So even a more powerful gun. In total, the U.S. Army had a contract to do build 1,200 of these tanks. Uh, the war ended before, right after they got the first concept one built, the war ended, and they ended up only producing eight of them as like a test bed, you know, to further along other tanks that would come out later on in the 50s and on into the 60s. So let's take a look at the plastic inside here. We're going to start off with the lower hull. As you can see right here, it is a bathtub style hull and it's got quite a bit of detail already molded into it. So if I am not mistaken, this had to be slide molded because this came down in here and the pins had to go into the side here to create all this detail on it. So very nice large uh, hull on there. Next up we have our turret, at least the top of the turret. And I'm going to get in there tight so you guys can see the texturing that Tacom put into the mold as well as the weld seams. Yeah, that looks very, very nice, I think. Now we'll just start going through some of the sprues. We're going to start off with this one. So this has got our glasses plate on here. And the same thing as the turret. They get a nice texturing on there. Really create the look that it is uh, that cast steel. And then we'll just kind of look at all the parts that are on here as well. All of our tools up in this section here. There we go. Now this next piece is actually one of the new ones here. So we've got our mantlet. This has got the cast marks on it as well. Plus, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe those are machine gun barrels that are coming out of the mantlet. I have to do a little more research on that. And then we have two different barrels in here. One with a blast bag on it and then one just standard plus the other parts that go with that that mantlet now we're going to take a look at the road wheels which as you can see by the sprue and you get two of these sprues inside here lots and lots of road wheels to put together as well as return rollers 
There's all the backs of the return rollers. Some extra track, your drive sprocket. There are your suspension arms. Now the the T29 did have torsion bar suspension, so that's the type of looks very very similar to the way the German tanks are with that right there. And like I said, you get two of those in the kit, a left and a right. Now we're coming up to the point we're looking at the just enormous looking fenders on this. Mm, there we go. Not too much else to look at there. Here is our engine deck. It's molded on a different sprue than the glasses plate. There we go. Next up we have our bottom of our turret. It too has a nice cast effect on it. 50 cal machine gun, all of our hatches, and then the, the canvas uh, a bag that goes around the, uh, the mantlet there. And some of the little detail parts. And finally, we have our track set. And the tracks are Link individual link and then long length of track right here. So this makes it very, very nice and easy that you have all of these pieces already molded up for you. So basically all you have to do is just the little bit that slides up in the front, wraps around the drive sprocket, one around the idler, and those will go together actually pretty easily. You can see the detail that they've put in those. And here we are, here is the last sprue part. This is our uh, Commander's Cupola here and some of the vision ports all molded up in clear. Give you a quick look at the decals. And you might be wondering, many of you probably know what this is, but what this was, obviously this was a prototype, but in World War II, a lot of times the crew would, would paint over their stars. And that was because this is a giant target for the Germans to aim at when you put this on the side of the turret. So they'd make it in, in this case it was either black or olive drab paint. This is olive drab. And it'll just create a different look, a little bit different faded amount of, less faded I should say, than the actual tank. So you'd still be able to see the silhouette of it on there if you wanted to make one like if the war went on into 1946 type thing. You get a big piece of metal. For the uh, for the tow cables, and finally, give you guys a peek at the instructions. And these are a bigger set of instructions, so we're gonna have to show them to you little by little here. And that's how the all the suspension goes into place, followed quickly by the tracks. Quickly knock that out. And just, just going over this, it looks like this is going to go together pretty quickly. I mean, here we are at step 11, and we have quite a bit of the, uh, and in fact, it looks like the entire lower hull is just about done by then. Well, I should say that 15 is when you put the final bit of the fender on there, but you get the idea that it's pretty, pretty fast. And then the turret itself is a couple of steps. And you've got 22 steps, and you have a monster U.S. Heavy Tank T29. And then, of course, the different camouflage patterns. This is kind of a cool one here with the, the multi-tone. Oh, I take that back. There are <laughs> the barrel, of course. Here's the uh, attaching the barrel and then actually putting the turret on top there. So there you go guys, there is a quick look at the T29 Heavy Tank from TACOM. This kit should be out within the next couple of weeks, I'd say about maybe four or five, depending on shipments from, from, from Asia. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching, and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming. Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. And I have no idea what kit I have. Oh, a T29. <laughs> Let's try that again. And finally, we have the last. 
And that was all the sprues falling off the table right there. And now we'll take a look at this sprue here that has all of the wheels and there's the phone. <laughs> Almost finished this video.